Sometimes the best thing to do is listen. Crows and jays are members of the corvid family. Uh, they are very strong, socially bonded. They kind of hang out in family groups. When there's a predator, potential predator, um, you will often hear several blue jays or several crows just start crying out, making lots of noise. When you hear something like that, um, generally there's something around that they're not happy with. In the winter, fall, winter, and early, early spring, um, smaller birds go around in mixed species flocks when they're foraging. And chickadees are sort of their sentinel for, for danger. Um, chickadees will be the first to make a noise and then just that tee 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 just you'll hear that and then you'll see other birds come in and so that can be a very fun thing to do in the woods is just listen for these alarm calls and then watch where the birds go and you might find a barred owl you might find a red-shouldered hawk sitting there that they're just not happy with but listening you don't even have to really know what the birds sound like if you just hear a lot of cacophony of, of noise that sounds like an alarm be a little attentive, take a look, you might find something really cool. So this might be something you hear from a, a crow or a bunch of crows. Uh, this is kind of their alert. Um, that's when you might want to pay attention. There are a number of apps for smartphones that have this. I'm using, well, I use a whole bunch. iBird Pro, the Sibley app. Um, there are a lot out there. Um, a lot of them are free too. Uh, we don't encourage you to play these out to attract birds because that does cause stress in them but it can be helpful to know what you're hearing. <laughs> 